When used together, Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional provide a range of tools and technologies that help you get more done, safeguard your work, and gain more IT control and flexibility in your environment. In this video, we'll take a look at working smarter and enhancing team productivity by using the search and indexing features in Windows 7 and SBS 2011. One of the key challenges that many small businesses have is finding the right information at the right time, especially if they're in a time crunch situation, like when a client is waiting on the phone. Many businesses rely on traditional index and search features available in older operating systems such as Windows Server 2003 and Windows XP, but searching for information can be quite complicated depending on whether it was saved on desktop computers or laptops or on the server, and not knowing what the document is called can further confuse the issue. Being able to quickly and easily search for information and find it when you need it is a key driver for user productivity. Several things can make the job of searching for information more difficult, including a lack of consistency in how files are stored, whether it's by customer or date, by the topic of the file, by the author, or any of a variety of ways in which data can be stored. Small businesses need an easy way to save their documents and to be able to recall them later no matter how they're saved. And of course, search tools are only as good as the indexes that drive them. So we need a simple way to identify documents, whether they're stored locally or on the server, and if they are stored locally, it would be really nice if the IT administrator could quickly move them to the server where they could be more discoverable across the entire organization. So let's look at how Windows 7 Professional and Windows Small Business Server 2011 work better together to solve these common business needs. Windows 7 makes it very simple to search for information by providing search boxes in both the Start menu and inside the Windows Explorer. And because SBS 2011 includes Windows Search, document results can be returned whether the files are stored and shared folders on the server or whether they're local to the user's PC. And of course, the results that are returned to the user are filtered by file permissions, so they won't be presented with search results for files that they don't have access to. To help drive a really great search experience, Windows 7 provides real-time indexing so that newly created documents are very quickly added to the index in less than a minute. So when users are browsing for files in the Windows Explorer and use the search box to search across their libraries, they'll be sure to find the latest available information. Windows 7 also provides document libraries, which is a great way to help organize information. It's location independent so that you can include folders that are local to the user's PC or available on the network. And then multiple locations are presented as if they were a single folder, making it very quick and easy for users to find all the information that they need. In addition, Windows 7 libraries can easily be sorted by author, date, subject, location, and so on. They can also be filtered so that the user can quickly find exactly the right information that they're searching for. So now let's take a look at using these features in action. On your Windows Small Business Server 2011 server, you can manage your indexing options using the control panel. From here, you can modify which volumes are being indexed. By default, when you use the SBS wizards to create a shared folder, the volume is automatically added to the index. You can also go to the advanced settings to modify the file types which are indexed. This can be very helpful if you have custom applications in your environment and you want those files to be included in your search results. On your Windows 7 Professional client computers, there are four default document libraries, but you can create new libraries to meet your specific needs. As an example, your users may be working on a project that includes files from several different folders on the SBS server, and you'd like to group them all together in a specific shared library. You can easily add all of these specific folders together and give you one single view of all the documents that are included in that project. You can also easily modify the default document libraries and add new locations for saving documents. Here we can add the SBS server's shared data location. We can even make this the default for storing data. If users want to be able to store data on their local computers, they're still able to choose those specific locations, but by default when they write to the documents library, it will go to the server. Let's take a look at the search capabilities of Windows 7 Professional by saving a new file into our document library. When we go back to Windows Explorer and search for the Fabricam keyword, 
we see that the new file has been quickly added to our index and is returned as part of our search results. We can further filter our search results by different attributes, including author, type, date modified, and so on. And notice that results are returned whether they're stored on the server or on the user's local computer, no matter what the file is called, as long as it has Fabricam either in the name or in the contents of the file. Fast and effective indexing on the Windows Small Business Server 2011 computer and easy-to-use search and libraries on Windows 7 Professional helps ensure you can always find the information you need and improve business productivity. To learn more about the Better Together features of Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional, visit our product homepage, join our Facebook community, and find a partner on Microsoft's Pinpoint site.